mana is gone.
would only slow me down. Yeah? Until next time. Nice day for it. Don't be a stranger. That would only slow me down. Yeah? Always a pleasure. By the ancestors, it's good to see fresh words in front of me. Now, my translation skills are not what Isius were, I can achieve a meager paraphrase at best. But a little knowledge is better than none, is it not? Let us begin. This tapestry of truth is a threadbare cloth indeed, but at least you have allowed me to begin the first few stitches in its restoration, and to settle the memory of a dear friend. In return, allow me to give you this. A little practical wisdom to improve your lot.
Malish contextualized syntax is a slippery eel indeed. Let me see if I can grab it by the gills. They carried their virtue gems to Doriani's bed. No, that's not quite right. Ah, yes. Doriani's cradle. The historian finishes that it was a price they needed to pay to ensure a Valish future. A cradle of virtue gems? What sort of Valish future did Doriani hope to ensure? Splendid. Let's see what this page has to offer us. It talks of Queen Atsiri. Now, here's a portentous line. She drenches her altars with the blood of those deranged enough to question her vision. The next piece is a real eye-crosser, but I believe it refers to a communion. Something to do with the Harvest Moon? Again? Doriani seems at the heart of it. Good. This line I can read without issue. This will be our final night of fear, our final night of suffering. Sacrifice. Communion. The Harvest Moon. An unsettling combination. Oh, my. This first line is frighteningly clear. Our queen is dead. Doriani is dead. So many have fallen. So many have changed. The latter text is almost indecipherable. It practically hums with agitation. Let me see. I can make out the words. Sleep, nightmare, and the beast, whatever that may be. Our historian finishes with, We have succeeded where our forebears did not. We have failed ourselves. I need not imagine the fall of the Val. I saw the nightmare with my own eyes. Strange. I was put in charge of dating the most antiquated of texts. This parchment, it's a remarkable copy, but it's no original. Much younger. Oh my. Listen to this. My dearest Isis, I have been enlightened beyond expectation. Your work in translating these artifacts is worthy of the highest recompense, and thus I am delighted to offer you a position in my personal laboratory. Please do not give your escorts any consternation. I would be most pained to see such a precious asset damaged in any way. I very much look forward to working with you. Isius Perandus. Your friend and admirer, Malachi. Poor, poor Isius. Wherever you went, my pity goes with you. I suppose every civilization has its Doriani, its Malachi. Men of divine talent and demented ambition. Without them, History would be a far less interesting place. How Malachi survived the Purity Rebellion, I don't know. He was at Emperor Vol's side before Chich's corpse was even cold. I suppose Vol found him as difficult to refuse as Isius did. Malachi would never have risen so far without the patronage of an emperor like Chittis. 
It would appear that Doriani and Queen Atsiri shared a similar relationship. It was said of the beautiful Atsiri that she wished to see her likeness reflected in the still waters of history. Chittis was no less self-impressed. Of all the sins, vanity is the most hideous. Sun fell in the course of an hour, no more. A tempest raged down from the mountains and engulfed the city, throwing it into midday darkness. I saw madness in my colleagues' eyes, watched as the most rational men in the Empire jabbered and slavered and slaughtered each other. I witnessed Trinian, our gemling intellectus prime, engulfed by the radiance of his flaming cranial gem, and wither like a grape in the sun into a thing of desiccation and famishment. I've seen mountains spew fire in Namakanui. I've seen waves as tall as trees and winds that leveled warriors and walls alike. Nature is what nature is. There was nothing natural about the Cataclysm. Let's speak again soon. Yeah? Don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs>